Blessings, blessings. This is the day the Lord has made, and we should rejoice and be glad in it. We thank God for another opportunity. We thank God for allowing us to be here. As I like to say, arise, shine, for this is your time. If you still got breath, that means you still got life. You still got life, that means you still got an opportunity to complete your assignments. Look, I like to welcome if everybody start coming into this live. I want to say God bless you. Listen, God has a message for you today. God has a message for you today that's going to bless you, that's going to take you, that's going to elevate you, that's going to bring you into the place that he has predestined you to be. Amen. Whatever you need from God, God is about to bring it to you. God's about to lift up something to you. Blessings, everyone who's coming in. Blessings. This this live is going to be live. This is going to be a changing, a breakthrough for someone who is in need. For someone who says, I'm tired of being sick of tired of being sick and tired. Amen. If you that person come in, please let me know where you're, you're tuning in from. Please drop a comment. Share this broadcast. I'm letting you know that today is your day. A day of breakthrough. A day where the th limitations will come off of you. The thing that's been hindering you, the thing that's been locking you, the thing that's been blocking you. God has given me a word to tell you that the limitation is about to come off. That the breakthrough that you're looking for is about to come to you. Amen. As you come in, please, please let me know where you're from. I'm J.L. Gibbons of J.L. Gibbons Ministry. I'm, I'm, it's a pleasure for you guys to come in. We're going to have a good time. Amen. We're going to. We're going to do something new. We're going to do something where we get elevated, we get transformed, that we're going to break the hands of the enemy. Of off your off your finances, off your health, off your family. God told me to speak today on breaking limitations and moving forward in your destination. Meaning what God has for you, it is for you. What God is calling you to do, you shall do. Amen. God said this is that day of breaking limitation. This is that day that he wants to bring elevation. This is that day that he wants to change you from what you was doing to what you need to be doing. Amen. Breaking limitations. And moving into your destination. I'm going to start with this foundation scripture. Ephesians chapter 6. Starting at verse 10. It says, Follow me, brothers. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of darkness. Of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor. Armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. First of all, let me say this. God says don't fight it in your might, but fight it in his might. See, a lot of us is trying to fight this battle in the physical, but this is a spiritual battle. The, the writer says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But right now you are arguing with your spouse. Right now you are arguing with your children. Right now you are arguing with those co-workers. Why? Because you think this is a physical battle. And God says that we ought not to be wrestling against flesh and blood because that's not where the problem is. God says first you need to do, first thing you need to do is identify what is the problem. Where is it coming from? Because you arguing with your spouse, you arguing with the children is not the issue. You arguing with your aunt and your mom, that is not the issue. The issue is you are not identifying the problem. You're, you're wrestling against something unseen. You're wrestling against something unseen and you don't know what to do. Because you're still in that same place. You're feeling that you're limited. You feel like things are not moving. Why are my finances coming together? Why isn't my 
business come together? Why isn't my ministry coming together? God says this is the time when you have to get things in line by being spiritual and walking by the spirit, not by your own sight, not by your own ears. But God says, let the spirit of God lead you into the place. Lead, let the spirit of God show you what exactly you need to do to win the race. Listen, in the book of Daniel, Daniel prayed and fasted for 21 days. Daniel didn't realize that the moment that he prayed that the answer was already there. That the moment that you prayed before the Lord, the answer was already there. But the problem was you didn't, he didn't understand that there was something blocking. Amen. That something's blocking you from your destiny. That something's holding you up. Because in this season, God says, I don't want you to be ignorant of Satan's devices. God says he wants to show you exactly what's going on. What's pulling that thing away from you. What's got you into the place where you've been at. It's not the fact of what people are saying. It's not what people are trying to uh, 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 hinder you with. But it's a spiritual attack against you. And God says in this season, he wants to give you a breakthrough. God says he wants to lift off the limitations and break the chains that was against you. Amen. So first thing, identify what's going on. You go to the Lord. The Bible says inquire of the Lord. When David was facing a big challenge, they wanted to stone him. David inquired the Lord, the Lord tell him, go, and you should surely overtake him. Go back to the thing of what God has told you to do. Go find what God has called you to do. Go first and inquire of the Lord of the situation. Inquire the Lord what's going on, what's bringing the stagnation, what's bringing the thing, what's not allowing the thing to come to the fullness of what God has said to you. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. Amen. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. But there's something that's trying to hold you. There's something that's trying to limit you. There's something that the enemy trying to do to frustrate you. Because right now you don't see things moving the way it should be. But God said there's an enemy trying to block you. There's an enemy just trying to stop you. But God has given you the, the way out of it. But first you have to identify the situation. Stop, stop battling against people. Stop wrestling against people because it's not them. Because the enemy knows your habits. The enemy knows what frustrates you. The enemy knows what to break you. He knows exactly who you are. He's, the ancient, he's ancient. He's been around way longer than we have. So of course he'll send those things to sit there and snare you. To put you in a trap. To put you back in that cycle. You need to first identify the situation. When you look into your family's home, when you see people passing away all the time around the same time, when you see that every time around this month, the same thing's going on, that every time you get something in your hand, you can't seem to hold it. Identify what the situation is in order to address it and say, this right here cannot continue to go on. I, you're trying to move forward. And the thing that God told you to do, but for some reason, something's blocking you. This is the season God says breaking every limitation. Everything that's been holding that blessing, everything that's been holding your healing, everything that's been holding you from moving forward. God says in the season, it's time to move forth, that you move into your destination. But understand what you are wrestling against. Understand what's breaking the limitation, first of all. Some people need to identify that they are being limited by some. Some people got to identify that, hey, it's something not right. I never remember. I started getting the revelation. Like when some, God says, you need to address it. You need to see what's going on. Because the same thing was happening in my life. Certain things every time it seemed like we try to get forward, but then something would happen. And I will put the effort in to start something, but never finish it. And I'm, I'm asking God, look, what, what's going on? He says, listen, you have no idea what happens in the spiritual realm. You're not, you're, you're not fighting against the flesh and blood. You're not fighting against your wife. You're not fighting against your children. What you're fighting against 
It's the spiritual realm. And God says in this season that he has equipped you with exactly what you need to break through every circumstance and situation. But first identify the problem. Understand that there is a problem. Understand there is something that's trying to hinder you from getting your breakthrough. Amen. Like I said, Daniel prayed. And the moment he prayed, the angel let him know. He said, the moment you prayed, Daniel, I came with the answer. The moment you prayed, Daniel, I had the answer for you. But he said it was a power. The Prince of Persia was holding him up. Ask yourself, what's holding you up? Ask the Lord, Lord, what's holding me up? What's stopping me from going forth in the thing that you have called me to do? What's stopping you from moving into the thing that God has called you to do? Amen. Second of all, realize that in this season and time, we have to go back to what God has said to do. A lot of times what's bringing limitation is you're not following the thing that God had planned for you. Meaning you got out of the will of God, you got out of the plan of God, and when you got out of the plan of God, you wasn't able to move forward. If you get out of the plan of God, you're not able to do what God has called you to do. Many of us got out of the plan of God and God gave us specifically instructions of what to do. And when God gave us these instructions, what we do, we didn't follow it through. So then we're wondering why things are held up. We wonder why things are not coming through. Because he said, you did not continue in a word that was said to you. Limitations comes when disobedience is done. I'll say it one more time. Limitations come when disobedience is done. You can't move because if you haven't followed the first instructions that God gave to you. And you want God to give you the next instructions. But God says, no, you need to go back to do what I told you to do the first time. And some of us have left things undone. We have left things not finished. And we're asking God, Lord, when is it going to be my time? When, is I'm, when am I going to move forward? And God's saying, go back and do the thing that I have already given you the instructions to do. Break limitations is when you are listening to what God has told you to do. You break limitations when you follow what the word of God told you to do. If God told you to do something and you didn't do that thing, then you have brought limitations. You have allowed the enemy to come in and get ahead of you. So therefore, when you're trying to get ahead, you can't. Why? Because the enemy has already snared the trap. Because God gave you the dream. God gave you the vision. God gave you the plan. But you went and did something else. And once you did something else, that gave the enemy the leg up on you. Amen? Saul was told to wait for the prophet. But Saul allowed other people around him to dictate what he was about to do. So when Saul offered the sacrifice, when he offered the sacrifice, that broke that covenant. Because God loves obedience rather than sacrifice. Because he said disobedience is as witchcraft. So some things that you have limitations is because you didn't follow the instructions. Don't allow people to pull you out and pull you towards something else because they don't have the vision that God's given to you. They don't got the plan that God's given to you. So you do something foolish that brings lack, that brings depression, that brings sickness on your body because God had told you to do something specific, but you didn't do that specific thing. You did it the way that somebody else told you to do it, and then it fell through. And now you asking God, what happened? And God said, I told you to do it this way. It might not make sense, but faith is stepping out and believing what God says regardless of what other people say. Faith is taking God at his word. God is faithful. Who God is faithful. And since God is faithful, you take him by his word and you do that which God has told you to do. You step into the place what God has told you to do. In order to break limitations, go back and do what God said do. Go back to what God has said to do. And watch how that thing changed. Well, some of the things that's blocking you in the spirit because you have to go back and fix it. 
You you got to fix it in the spirit in order to move into the position what God needs you to do. But some of us are trying to move physically. You're like, I'm working two jobs. It's not working. You're like, I'm doing X, Y, Z, and it's not working. You say, well, I'm praying, and I'm praying. it's not working. Because God says, go back. Go back and get that thing back on track. Go back and forgive. Go back and let it go. Go back. Whatever the instructions was. In order to break the limitations, you have to go back and fix it. Fix it in order to get it. In order to go forth, in order to break forth, in order to do the thing that God has called you to do, you have to go back and fix some things. Fix the past in order to move forward. Sometimes it can be simply as just repenting and say, Lord, I'm sorry. Lord God, I missed that. Lord God, I should have apologized to that person. Lord God, you told me to move down south, but I want to stay up north. Sometimes it's just sitting there and humbling yourself. Amen. Humble yourself before God. When you humble yourself, God says, then I can hear from heaven. I hear your prayers. A lot of times things are being blocked. You're feeling like just your prayers are not hitting the ceiling. And they're just coming back and bouncing. God says, have a repentant heart. Once you repent, God can open up the door. Because when you give the enemy leeway, he has legal ground to bring these things in your life. To bring the stagnation, to bring the turmoil, to bring the physicality of not being healed and delivered. And you say, Lord, I know your word says. And I know your word declares. You could decree all you want until you repent and say, Lord, I'm handing it over to you. He said, what did he say? He said, he said, follow my brothers, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. So you keep thinking about you doing these actions, something's going to change. And God says, no, because guess what? The enemy has a legal ground to you because you didn't address that situation. You didn't address that unforgiveness in your heart towards your parents and towards that, that brother or that sister. But God says when you take the moment of time and say, Lord, I repent. I'm coming back to you. Whatever I put my hands on, whatever I put my eyes and ears on that I wasn't supposed to. Lord God, I thank you that right now I'm forgiven. Therefore, the Bible says there is no condemnation. So the enemy no longer will have a leg up on you. Why? Because you have repented. You have given that thing towards the Lord. The Lord says, cast your burdens and your cares upon me for he cares. So once you give God that avenue to wipe your slate clean, he says, far as from the east, it's from the west. He remembers your sins no more. And if he remembers your sins no more, now you can go forth. Now you can move forth. I'm talking about breaking limitations, breaking stagnation, breaking the things that's holding you back from moving forth and doing the thing that God has called you to do. Once you make that repentance, once you get that unforgiveness out of your heart, God says, now I can take you and put you in a place. Because the Bible lets us know that a day is like a a thousand years and a thousand years is like a day. So the first should be last and the last should be first. You're not, you're, you're held back based upon the words that you speak sometimes. Amen? Because if you always say that it's something, it's always going to be something. I break limitations by what I say. I break limitations by speaking the right words because some of us have spoken words of doubt. We've spoken words of frustration. We've spoken words of unbelief. And that gave, once again, the powers, the principalities, legal ground to put this hindrance upon you. But when you speak words of life, the Bible says in the Bible declares, that death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love us should eat the fruit thereof. So when you speak the right words, you can break limitations. But if you always saying, woe well, is me. If you always saying it's something. If you always speaking contrary to what God said about you. Then you have in what you speak. God is not mocked. What's over a man, so, what is over a man so that shall he reap. You understand that? You reap what you're sowing out your mouth. You want to grow forth. You want to go forth. So it doesn't matter of how it looks like. God said, call those things to be not. He said he calls, he's caused light out of darkness. In the beginning, God said, let there be, and it was. So in order to break limitations, next thing you need to do is speak the word that God has spoken to you. Speak the words of blessing over you. Don't speak cursings over your marriage. Don't speak cursings over your finances. Don't say, man, it seems like I always fall short. What you need to declare and decree is money cometh to me. 
what you have to decree in the atmosphere that I am healed, that I am delivered, that this body is in the right state, what God has called it to be. You said, man of God, I don't feel it. God says we don't walk by we don't walk by our, our feelings or emotions. We walk by faith. So I call those things that be not as though they were. I'm talking about breaking limitations. Break limitations from the words that you are saying. Break limitations for the words that you are speaking. So we speak light in the midst of drought. We speak light in the midst of a famine. We speak life in the midst of chaotic situations that's in our homes. You say to yourself, for me and my home, we will serve the Lord. You speak and declare and say, for me, I will do what God has called me to do. I'm moving it into my destiny. I'm moving into my purpose. I'm moving to the thing that God said he called me to do. No, I don't care how long it takes. I'm not here. The, the Bible says the race goes to the swift. He goes to the one who endures to the end. The Bible lets us know the race goes to the one who endures to the end. So as you're moving forth, speak what God says, breaking limitations. The next thing God told me says, have a clear vision. Because some of us are thinking, are thinking small. Amen. God spoke this to me. He said, Son, have a Lamborghini mindset. I said, Lord, I don't want a Lamborghini. But he said, it's not about the Lamborghini. He said, have the mindset of a Lamborghini because I can do exceedingly above all you ask to think. So if the only thing you're thinking about is I want enough to get past this week. Or I just want enough to get my baby something for her birthday. Or I just want enough to pay the rent. Or I just want enough to be able to go to church. And God said, you're thinking too small. He says, I want you to think big because I'm a big God who does big things. So he said, I will do exceedingly above all you can ask, think, or imagine. In order to break limitation, you have to uplift your thinking. You have to bring your imagination. You have to bring your thoughts into the thoughts of the Father. How does the Father think? The Father does not think small. The one who created the heavens and the earth. The one who created you. He doesn't have a small mentality. He has a mind that thinks big. He has a mind that created everything. God says that same power, that same way of thinking needs to be in you. I know man of God, woman of God, things have been hard. Things have been challenging. It's been this. It's been that. And so your mind is just thinking on how can I just survive? But I declare in the creed to somebody that God wants you to do more than just survive. God wants you to thrive. God wants you to thrive and not just survive. So the next point is have a mindset that is large. Have a mindset that's thinking big. What is it that God has said to you what is God has brought to you and he says this is the dream this is the vision this is the thing that I called you to do breaking limitations breaking limitations breaking limitations and like I said the next thing is to break limitations is how your mind perceives as a man thinks so is he how do you think? How do you see yourself? How do you see those around you? How do you see your family? Do you see yourself going and achieving? Do you see yourself being the person that God has called you to be? Do you see yourself being able to move into the destiny that God has preordained for you? Do you see yourself living your best life, having the best health? Do you see yourself being able to step out of poverty and step into prosperity? Do you see yourself moving to the place that God has said you to do? So your mind has to be equipped and renewed and revised in order for you to go forth. The mind has to be renewed. The mind has to be revised in order for you to step into the place where God has for you. Your mind has to be renewed. Your mind has to be revised into what God has said, what God has spoken, what God has given to you. Amen. Reviving the mind. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ. That guess what? He humbled himself. He became a servant. But guess what? He knew who he was. He knew what he was carrying. He knew the power and authority that was given to you. And I want you to know the authority and power that God has given to you. That that thing that's been dormant should come alive. See yourself. See yourself. 
See yourself moving into that place. See yourself doing the thing that God, in order to break limitation, you have to change the way you've been thinking. Change the way you've been thinking, amen, in order to break limitations. Praise God. Hallelujah. No, number three, understand things that block you from breaking into your limitation. You have to know the storms that's been coming. See the storms that's been coming and address them. When Jesus said to the disciples, we're going to the other side. The storm didn't catch him off guard. Things that's happening shouldn't be catching you off guard. Why? Because God says it's been given unto you to know the mysteries. So therefore, praise God. If, if a storm has brewed, if something has attacked you, attacked your family, understand that you missed something somewhere. And if you miss something somewhere, you need to go back and correct what you missed. God told the disciples that we will go to the other side. So the storm didn't catch Jesus off guard. But the storms in your life that's catching you off guard, you need to find out why you keep missing them. Because God says it's been given unto you to know the mystery. So, certain, so it's not a mystery to you because God has given you the ability to know what's going on. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me. God is giving you the ability to know what's going on. God is giving you the ability to move past what's been happening. Amen. Once you understand that God's giving you the ability, insight, and foresight, you won't allow the enemy to get ahead of you. So when God says that this is what I call you to do, start doing it. Amen. When God says, this is what I called you to do, start doing it. Don't let the enemy get ahead of you. Don't let the enemy get in front of you. Go forth in what God has said to do. Go forth and do what God has called you to do. Go forth and when God says do it, do it. The more that you hesitate, the more that you allow the enemy to get ahead of you. Because God says, I've given you everything to life and godliness. So if he's giving you everything, guess what? If he's giving you the vision, if he's giving you his dream, it's not up to you to provide. It's up to him. You're missing it. You're, you're trying to figure out, how am I going to do this? To break the limitation, you just listen to what God says to do. You just be what God told you to be at. Break the limitations by doing what God said to do. Don't wait. And trying to wait for the right time. As God told me, he said, son, it's never going to be a right time. The right time is the time I told you to do it. And you trying to analyze, but God doesn't work when analyzing things. God works by faith. He says in his word, it's impossible to please me without faith. Faith is substance. <clears throat> Excuse me. Faith is substance. If you say you have faith... I can see evidence of your faith. But don't say you have faith and you're not moving into the race. If you're not starting that vision, if you're not starting the plan, if you haven't started, then don't say you have faith. Amen? If you're not moving into what God says, don't say that you have faith. You want to break limitations. You have to step up into that destination when it doesn't even look right, when it doesn't even feel right. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. When it doesn't even look like it's supposed to be this way, God says, move forward. Abraham, go to a place. What place? Just move. Some of y'all wait for the right time and God says, just move. Because it's never going to be the right time to do or start it. It's never going to be the right time. It's never going to be seen the right time to go forth. And it, it, it won't be the right time, but how do you know? God gave you the word. God gave you the instruction. God spoke to you in a dream and a vision. God said, this is what I have for you. But you're looking at your circumstances and say, well, I can't do that. 
You're looking at your circumstances and saying, oh, I can't do that. And that's why you're limited. Breaking limitations is following that what God has said to do. Breaking limitations and say, Lord, I trust in you more than I trust in my own ability. Because I said, going back to the scripture, the Bible says, it says, follow my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor. The reason that the enemy's attacking you, amen, the reason why the enemy's attacking you because you're not fully protected in what God has put into you. God has given you everything that you need. It's inside you, just like a seed. You don't have to tell that seed to grow into an apple tree. The seed already knows what it is. And to break limitations, you got to know who you are. You got to know whose you are. You got to know where, where you come from. You come from the heavens. And God says, I place everything you need inside of you. Move forth. Move forth in his authority. <clears throat> Move forth in his power. Move forth in his anointing. It's not by your might. It's not by your power, but it's by his spirit. His spirit is going to guide and direct you. The Bible says that when he gives you the Holy Spirit, it will bring all he will bring all things back to your remembrance that you will know who you are. The thing is you don't remember who you are. The thing is you don't remember what God has said to you. You put it on a burn because you allow life situations to get in the way. You allow life situations to place you in a place of stagnation. But God says break limitations and you're about to step into your destination. You're about to step into that place of elevation. You're about to step into the place of what he called you to do. Listen to the words that God has said to you and do. Listen to the word God has said to you and do. Amen. Listen, I want to close with prayer. I want to close with prayer for breaking limitations. Whatever is limited in your life. God says he's about to bring you through it. <clears throat> Whatever's been hindering you. God says he's about to uplift it. Whatever's been bounding you. By the works of the enemy. God's about to pull you out. Okay. Whatever's been that challenge. God says he no longer will have the victory over you. The Bible lets us know many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. I declare and decree that the afflictions that you've been afflicted with, that is about to be used for your good. You say, man, of God, I don't understand how. But God says, I cause all things to work together for good, for those who love me, for those who are called unto my purpose. We're breaking limitations. And I declare and decree that you're about to step into your destination. Amen. Let's pray. Father, I thank you now. I thank you for your written word. I thank you for your rainbow word. I thank you right now. I speak into the atmosphere for those who are in need. For those who have been bound, for those who have been struggling, for those who have been attacked. Lord God, we break the limitations off of them. Lord God, for those who have been in a place of stagnation, Lord God, I speak life. I speak life. I speak life, Lord God. You have given us the decorations right now, Lord God, that we can decree a thing. Lord God, just as you spoke in Genesis, Lord God, you called darkness and you said be light. Lord God, those dark places in their life right now, I speak into them right now that is breaking forth. Every stronghold is being lifted off. Every barrier is being lifted off. Lord God, I declare a change right now. A season, a freshness. Lord God, a boldness that's going to come upon them. Lord God, let your spirit fill them once again. I speak, Lord God, every poverty spirit, every witchcraft spirit, every spirit of delay, every spirit of frustration, every spirit of fear and doubt be lifted off. Lord God, I speak right now that the power of God Touch them right now. Whatever they've been going against, whatever challenge they've been facing, Lord God, right now, we curse it at the root. We curse every curse 
at the root. The curse that's been set against their family. The curse that's been set up against their destiny. Whatever, Father, we thank you right now that we've been redeemed from the curse because Christ became a curse for us. Lord God, therefore we step into our inheritance. I speak, Lord God, the inheritance that you had spoke. Lord God, that the blessing of Abraham come upon them right now. Lord God, I speak right now as your servant. I speak a freshness. I speak, Lord God, that every limitation, every, Lord God, thing that's bound them up is being lifted off. I speak, Lord God, peace, joy, fullness, Lord God, that healing is the children's bread. Therefore, whatever they need, the healing that they're standing in need for right now, Lord God, we declare it so. Lord God, wholeness. Not just getting by, but Lord God, not just surviving. I declare that they will thrive. They will thrive in their finance. They will thrive in their family. They will thrive in everything that you call them to do. Lord God, we're breaking out of the old and we're stepping into the new. I declare, Lord God, that we are breaking out of the old and we're stepping into the new. They're stepping into their destiny. They're stepping into their purpose. They're stepping into the thing that you have preordained from the beginning of time. Lord God, we break every stronghold and every limitation break every stronghold and every limitation low god lift them up elevate them transform them into the person that you have preordained them to be low god let their mind be set free from anxiety worry frustration, not knowing. Lord God, I speak the wisdom of God, the knowledge of God, the force and insight for they all know where to go, when to go, how to go, and what to do. Lord God, breaking down every stronghold that the enemy tried to send their way. We break it in the mighty name of Jesus. Limitations off of them. I speak elevation. I speak promotions. I speak favor. I speak favor. I speak favor. I speak favor. I speak favor in all that they do. I speak favor over their life. I speak favor over their marriage. I speak favor over their business. I speak favor, Lord God, in their ministry. I speak favor in their home. I speak favor like never before, Lord God, to break down every stronghold. Lord God, let your light so shine right now that they see your goodness. Lord God, whatever's been blocking them, allow them to see it. Lord God, allow them to address it. Lord God, allow them to get back in place. Every satanic force, we bind it right now. Every demonic enemy that's been sent to bring delay, to bring tragic, to bring a stumbling block. Lord God, as your word says and your word declares, no weapon formed against them shall prosper. I say it once again, no weapon formed against them shall prosper. Amen? Listen, is anyone still in a live that needs prayer? Hit the invite and I'll bring you in. Amen? Is anybody need specific prayer? Hallelujah. The presence of God is in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. My God. Are we there? Is anyone who needs prayer? My God. Is anybody standing in need wants to be in agreement, in agreement, in agreement? Some people you don't pray for them because they're not in agreement. <laughs> ah, glory to God. Some people we don't pray with because they're not in agreement. The Bible says to agree, agree. Amen. So if anyone's need in prayer, let me know. Or just you can text it or you can type it at the bottom. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, my studo steady kadaroko. My God, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. For all those who have joined, I ask you please uh, follow, subscribe. The links in the bio on every platform. I thank you for joining me today. Um, we will do a part two of breaking limitations. Amen. We'll do a part two um, because God definitely has more to say about breaking limitations and stepping into your destination. I thank you so much for those who have uh, uh, shared, for those who have dropped a like. If you desire uh, to give. Uh, the links in the bio. I thank you for any support that you do. Listen, this ministry is about growth, 
about leaning to your destiny, leaning to your purpose, leading you to that which God has preordained for you to do. Amen. That you should dream it. You should start it. That you should finish it. That you should complete your assignment. That you will leave no work left undone. Blessings. Once again, I'm J.L. Gibbons. Thank you for joining me on today's live broadcast. Breaking limitations and stepping into your destinations. Listen, God loves you. I love you. Until next time, be blessed.